Hiya, I'm back again to do some writing today, which is Thursday. Now, we've been looking at this book. Now, who can remember what kind of book it was? An information book, well done. So it's a non, non-fiction book, well done. Now, what does a non-fiction book do? It gives us facts, well done. Now, today, we're going to be looking at where the animals, where the dinosaurs lived. So we've seen what they eat and we've labelled the parts of their body. So now we're going to see where they lived. So I'm going to find the book for you and read you a couple of those pages and we'll find out what the information on these pages tells us. So first of all, let's have a look at the contents. So it says land, sea and air. And if you move along, you have to go to page three to find that information. So this is page one, page two, page three. So this one here is about land, sea and air. That's the main title. And then we've got a subtitle. Where did dinosaurs live? And another one that says land. Now I'm going to read this to you. So I want you to listen and see what we could write when we're writing about where the dinosaurs live. So many dinosaurs lived on dry land. Some walked on their back legs and had a long tail to help them keep their balance. Other dinosaurs walked on four legs. Now, uh, it says here that this type of dinosaur called a Baryonyx lived on land and he has got that long tail look and he's walking on his back legs. There we go. Now the next page is where they live in the sea. So over time, the legs of some of the dinosaurs evolved. So evolved means when things change and they adapt so that they can work in the best way that they can. So they changed over time to become fins. Now these dinosaurs lived in the sea and they were very good at swimming. Now the picture on here looks a little bit like a dolphin but it's an ichthyosaurus or a fish lizard. And it had large eyes for finding food and it grew to the size of a man, a grown adult man. So here it is, look. And it says that it eats squid and fish. So we've done land and sea. What else is in our title? Land, sea and air, well done. I wonder what happens in this one. Let's have a look. Air. Some reptiles grew wings and feathers. They were called pterosaurs and were the first animals to fly. And it says here they were not dinosaurs, but their wings grew from their last finger to their back legs. And pterodactyls had long beaks with around 90 sharp teeth. There you go, look. Shows you how their wings grow. Now, our job today is to write about where they lived. So, I wonder how we can start our sentence. Hmm. How about this? How about we start it with capital letter, because that's what we start our sentence with, dinosaurs, because that's what it's about, isn't it? Dinosaurs. Oh, uh, sores. Dinosaurs. Now, do dinosaurs live here now? No, so it's past tense. So we want lived. They lived. So they don't live here now, they lived. Now you can copy this. Dinosaurs lived. Now the next bit, I'm going to have a go and show you what I would write then I would like you to have a go of your own, on your own, to see what you can write. And like I've said before, I think you know more about dinosaurs than I do. So maybe you can use some of the dinosaurs' names and tell me where they live too. Now, we're going to aim for more than one sentence today. Dinosaurs lived on, oh, mm, land, finger space. So they told us they lived on the land. All, ah, mm, d. 
They lived on the land. And can you remember what was special about those dinosaurs that lived on the land? Dinosaurs lived on land. Hmm. They had long tails, well remembered. Hmm. Some walked on their back legs. Well done, so we could write that. Dinosaurs lived on le land. And there's our sticky word. So we can jo join two ideas together. Dinosaurs lived on land and had had. So past tense, it's not now, so they don't have long tails. They had. Dinosaurs lived on land and had long or or ng. Long. Long what? Long arms? Long ears? Long teeth? No. Long tails. T. A. Alls. Long tails. Now, I'm also going to write about the animal, the dinosaurs that lived in the water. Dinosaurs lived on land and had tails. Now, this is one of our tricky words. I'm going to write some. Some lived, so we've got that up here already, look, lived, or, it, vd, lived, on the water or in the water? In the water, well done. Some lived, finger space, i, n, in, the. Red word, T H E, lived in the water. Now I know that in a book, water is spelt like this. But remember, when we do our writing in reception, I want you to use your phonics. So, dinosaurs lived on land and had long tails. Some lived in the w. What can you hear next? W or. Or. What or t uh, water? Now that is fine because I've used my phonics and I've sounded it out. I don't expect you to know how to spell this word here water. Dinosaurs lived on land and had long tails, some lived in the water. Full stop because the end of my next sentence. We can't forget the ones with the long wings. So what could we say about them? Hmm. Now let's have a go at pterodactyl. Let's sound it out. Now it's a trick, it's very tricky. Pterodactyl, remember phonics. Phonics are important. T -er. Er -er. Ter uh, d a k t o Now, pterodactyl is actually spelt with a silent p. So you can't hear it at the beginning. It's a funny spelling. That's how you spell pterodactyl. But this is how we're going to sound it out. Pterodactyls have, ooh, hmm, that's a tricky one, isn't it? Have, have, there's that sneaky e eh on the end. Have, now what did they have that helped them fly? Wings, well done. W, I, ng, wings and i've run out of lines look i'll keep going though and feathers finger space sound out f e f e f e f e now again in a book feathers would be spelt with the e a in the middle here look but we can't hear it, so I don't expect you to know how to spell feathers. Not just yet. 
feathers to fly. Remember phonics? Or um, which I shall we use? Hmm. Let's try I G H fly. In a book, fly would be spelt like this, but we haven't learnt that the y says I yet. So I've written, full stop, dinosaurs lived on land and had long tails. Some lived in the water. Pterodactyls have wings and feathers to fly. Now, I would like you to have a go at writing more than one sentence. And remember, the most important thing when we're writing is to use our phonics. Listen to the sound you want to write. And I'm looking forward to seeing some lovely writing about those dinosaurs. Please don't copy mine. There's lots of information in that book that I read you. If you need to listen to it again, you can go back to the beginning and listen to that information again and you write your own ideas down. Well done. Fantastic. Keep up the good work and I'll see you again on Monday for writing because we don't have writing on a Friday. We have PE instead. Well done. Take care. Bye.